in schooling from home when possible. Boris Johnson has sought to provide answers. We must stay alert and save lives and keep our residents safe. These times are unprecedented. And our feelings are unique. In a stay-at-home order, we use distance when we speak. Some gratitude. Some joy. Some pain. A rule three. Read, read the letters on these signs. I ask that you hear me. See, getting pushed isn't all that bad. Some birds learn to fly that way. I ask, how can I reinvent myself to live a brighter day? See, I got sick, and it sucked. Skeletal cramps, brutal body aches, nausea, and a fear of not knowing what's up. And, and CNN was terrifying me. And after 14 days, I slowly started to recover to a new sense of gratitude and my eyes opened up with wonder, what can I do to fix my old patterns? Every day I pray and I meditate and I journal on this exact matter. How can I be better? How can I be more clever? How can I help my fellow men and women come together? So I started a live conversation to bring light to the situation to remove all the thoughts of scarcity way out of the equation. See, for me, this quarantine, I've been challenging myself to become a better me. Or maybe I've just been chilling and I saw that quote on a meme. Look, to many of us, I know it came as a surprise. And I know it feels odd that we've all lost our jobs and we're forced to stay inside, but some of us have five family members and two bedrooms with not an opportunity in sight, while the rest of us are upset because we couldn't catch a flight. And that's cool, I mean, that's all right. Each to their own. But maybe the universe is forcing us an opportunity to grow, to revive, for you to look around you and be grateful for your quality of life. Because it could be worse. These times are unprecedented. And our feelings are unique. In, In a stay-at-home stay order, we use distance when we speak. Some gratitude, some joy, some pain are all three. Read, Read the letters on this sign. I ask that you hear me. See, this was never my intention. Don't let me forget to mention that the circumstances of this situation was crisis intervention that created a reinvention of love and human intention that despite social distancing, we can't forget to mention that the fundamental component of the human condition is a bigger and deeper love connection. See that? That's what forced me into reinvention. And my heart, and my heart drips like mercury drops, skidding through the cracks of the caskets of the souls that we've lost. And I pray for global healing. And I pray for good intention. And maybe this is Mother Nature's path to reinvention. Maybe this is God's way of asking us to reground, to appreciate the sound of a breath or the echo of a sound, or to bring the world closer than it's ever been before. And I'm not a prophet, I'm just a poet, and only God can keep school. See, look, I know it's hard for you to ask for help, even though you need it in this time. But in a world where we can be anything, I urge us to be kind. That's what Caroline Flack said right before she died. But let's be real for a second, because I know that most of us are just trying to survive, put food on our family's table, still trying to provide, thinking this could be done by April, and then the government makes an extension, because let's be real about it. None of us know what it's really like. Do I keep my staff on payroll, or do I tell them all to lay low until the government issues furlough? And then I think about their rent and mortgages, and that's when I feel my fear grow. Nah, I can't let them go. And that's why I just don't get it. I constantly ask myself, what's the reason for this pandemic? I once heard a man say it was an opportunity for us to spend time, reset our energy and frequency to a new vibe, learn a new skill, maybe even pick up a new grind, if that's what you want. That's why I encourage us all to be still and be quiet, or at least try. Because maybe none of this would have happened if we were quiet enough and focused enough to hear what was going on inside. You see, getting pushed isn't all that bad. Some birds learn to fly that way. But being pushed was never my intention. Although it did open up my heart to reinvention. Because these times are unprecedented. And our feelings are unique. In a stay-at-home order, we use distance when we speak. Some gratitude, some joy, some pain are all three. Our hearts are written on these signs. I know that you hear me.